Today, we have a Mercedes C230 W203 using the 272 engines. As you can see, there's no fault on the dashboard, but this car acceleration is very poor in addition, with intermittently bad response. When pressing the gas pedal, let's walk out with the car. As you can see, the engine is running, but there's a little bit cramping and shaking. So let's do a quick scan to see if there's any trouble cool. I've connected the uh, scanner to the engines. Now let's go to the ECM sections. Press enter. We're reading the fault code. As you can see the result, there were trouble codes regarding to the adjustment of the camshaft position in both intake and exhaust in the right cylinder bank. So now, let's check the live data to see these values. We have to check the camshaft on both sides of the engines to see the differences. So, when the engine is in idle positions, there are changes in data in the left side in the bank, but in the right bank, they are staying still. When we press the gas pedal, the result once again show more adjustment in the right side of the bank. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the camshaft lock diagrams. We we'll demonstrate how the ECM controlled the camshaft positions. As you can see, there are two sides of the engines, one in the right and one in the left. The Y49-5 and the Y49-7 are the intake and exhaust camshaft solenoids working with the intake and exhaust camshaft sensor B6-5 and B6-7 These two sensors will send the exact positions of our camshaft to the ECM then the ECM will adjust the camshaft using our solenoid These are the camshaft post wheel will generate the hall sensor indicating our camshaft positions. In a wiring diagram, the solenoid are using the ground and power to operate the oil line. The camshaft sensor have an extra signal wire to send the data back to the ECM. This is the basic of system. This is the camshaft position sensor. It has three wires, ground, signal and power. Each bank has two sensors, so we have four in total. The Y49-5 and the Y49-7 from the wiring diagram we can see it share the same power supply and separated ground wire in which the ECM will send corresponding signal to control these two solenoid. On the other hand, our camshaft position sensor will have three wires, ground, power and signal. The signal wire will send its information back to the ECM so the ECM can adjust the camshaft using the camshaft solenoid. So that are all the electrical control of this camshaft adjustment system. In addition to this, we will also have to check the mechanical functions of this system. We have to make sure that the marking of our crankshaft align properly with the 305 marking placed on the engine block. Moreover, we also have to check the markings on the pulse wheel so that they are placed in the correct position. If any of these conditions are not met, the camshaft position solenoid won't adjust the position at all. So that's it for our theories. Now, firstly, we will check the signal from this camshaft position sensor and then go ahead to check our mechanical camshaft alignment. The problem we might have will be a broken solenoid, no signal from the sensor on the camshaft are poor lubricated. There are camshaft trouble codes on this right engine bank, so we will check it first. I have already propped the wires to receive the hot signal that our ECM sent to the camshaft solenoid. As you can see, there are signal from the oscilloscope 
which means signal are being sent from the ECM, but there must be further problems that our camshaft can be adjusted mechanically. So now, we will check the signal from our camshaft position sensor to the ECM. As we can see, there are signal appears on the oscilloscope, so the sensor still functions properly. Therefore, we have to go on and check for further problems. According to the document, the camshaft positions will be determined on the pulse wheel. So we will have to check these pulse wheel to make sure they are well aligned. I've already adjusted our pulley to the 305 marking positions. Now we will check the pulse wheel to see if their markings is in the correct positions. That's what I see here, they are not. So this gotta be the fault that making all these problems. On the left bank, they are well aligned. That's why there was no DTC when we scanned the vehicle. We have to adjust the camshaft mechanically, but that will happen in the next videos. To sum up, the symptom when the customer brought in was poor acceleration and bad responding when pressing the gas pedal. After diagnosis and checking on the relevant components, we found that the camshaft sensors and solenoids were still working properly, but the mechanical marking on the camshaft is not aligned. 